What's going on, Workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And today we're talking about the state of materia. 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 Matua. Chris, you said something, I guess, pretty shocking. It seems like people actually did like what you said. But uh, before we dive into what you said about uh, the state of materia, um, what uh, do we got a shout out for today? We got a hidden phrase for today? Yeah, probably. 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 Um, yeah, Lunar Systems. Lunar Systems. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lunar. I didn't have it in front of me. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, of... Lunar. Thanks for hanging out. That's what, that's what we do when we don't film these live anymore. It's like, hey, Chris, we got you're going on vacation. We need to make, we got to get our two videos in this morning. So filming this not live, guys, but you can check us out. i try to get out of my office for four days. That's right. He has more than earned it. But uh, if you guys are interested, Monday and Tuesday, uh, this week, I will actually be taking over a stream from eight to, to noon. So it's not as a long as a stream and I'm not gonna be clicking on any signs, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about uh, hanging out, playing some 14, playing some other games maybe. People seem to want me to play 11, so be sure to go vote in the poll over on Ginger Prime if that's what you want to see. But anyway, Chris, what what did you say about it? What 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 should we do about it? Is it in the sorry um, state? You said somebody liked my idea. I assume what I was saying is that you could throw the entire gearing system in the trash. Yeah. Um. So right now, for people coming over from WoW, they're asking about like how how complex it is to gear up, how complex it is to deal with stat priority, and if anything, I think Materia causes more frustration than actually aid because what we end up is we end up with stat priority and then we have a preference on how a particular job performs and because materia is not job specific you can't lock it to a glamour plate you can't lock it to a unique profile you end up with like a roll set of gear for most players you end up with this is my tanking set do i care about warrior or do i care about everybody else um because the the other three stat wise are relatively homogenized. And then you've got this one person that because of inner releases effect on crits and direct hits has a slightly different priority. Um, and so it, you kind of end up with this spot where I don't actually know that gear should have materia slots at all anymore. Okay. Um, I think weapons with materia slots makes sense. That's what allows you to push and shift into a particular job. Um, but I think really the rest of our materia slots should live on our job stones. I think they should should be there. And as you level up, you unlock more materia slots and maybe certain eye levels subtract slots and increase slots. And so you have slots that gray out. You can have however complex of a system you want, but it should really live on our job stones so that you kit out individual jobs with preferences rather than gear. And at that point, gear all becomes stat sticks. We equip it with a glamour plate anyway. My gear set is entirely determined by a helm, a weapon, and a body. You don't see anything else because of the, the choices of what I wear glamour wise. Mm -hmm. You don't see boots. You don't see gloves. You never saw a waist. You don't see legs. All that stuff's hidden. And so effectively at that point where this shifts, I don't know if you're totally aware of what all I said, but I took it a whole lot further and said yeah, at that it. point, you could delete gear entirely. Uh, and gear would be basically an eye level on job stones. And you can have that eye level B slots A through Z, but they don't have to be legs as a slot. Doesn't matter. That could be primary slot one and two is chest and legs, secondary slots one through four, tertiary slots slots one through whatever for your accessories because there's there's very few things that actually mean anything assuming the glamour system stayed in place because we're replacing the cosmetic anyway so that's a really interesting kind of way of obviously looking at uh gear uh specifically um i don't i don't know how i feel like i haven't i didn't hear what you said so it's like you say talking about how uh yeah obviously glamour people really put a lot of you know points a lot of value into that kind of system and it mm -hmm. does make that, um, you know, the gearing system, at least for me, for like kind of to almost pivot the video for a slight second. Like when we look at how, uh, you know, the token system for raids kind of rewards gear, like ultimately somebody was just like, your inventory is a mess. And it's like, it is yeah. right now. I, I go from super clean inventory to I just let it go out of control and then, and then I dial it back down. And We're so we fighting over armory slots right now. We mm -hmm. have to delete belts next expansion to make room for a slot that doesn't matter. Wastes don't matter. They don't display. And you could just apply the stats mm -hmm. to like boots and then yeah. you're in the exact same spot. And then you could make boots cost one more Eden token. And now it's the same number of weeks to gear. They don't matter. We're not losing anything. So one of the things that I would like to set some context to the history of, of uh, the system is that it originally was put in place and not all gear actually had the ability to slot 
uh, items into it, the materia into it, because it was set for like crafted gear, like that was the system and it was just kind of that supporting system. So at the end of the day, you could also had to have a craft, you also had to craft or eventually like they added the NPCs so that you could talk to an NPC. Otherwise you would have to request a meld from either a crafter or apply it yourself. So it was this secondary system gear would spirit bond and it was a way of taking gear that was that you couldn't do anything with right like you couldn't uh, especially before glamour plates especially before the glamour dresser like in the they history the descent yeah the change to the descent like uh they had it as that way of just like well that piece of gear you can't do anything with now let's you can't sell it so let's instead of just dropping it on the floor like oh right. remember this amazing legendary like ex like this epic piece of gear just gonna leave it here on the floor you know, like it, right. that just Instead felt it wrong. condenses down to its essence. Yeah. So you have this, oh my gosh, that, that crit materia came from my legs of last year. And mm -hmm. that's this moment of, of it fully spirit bonded. I'm going to break it down into materia and then I'm going to have that so that a crafter can meld it onto this custom piece of gear. For me, it had a lot more meaning, but it doesn't now. Yeah. And then it over doesn't. time, we, like, well, it also lower level materia has a hundred percent extraction rate. Right. We had uh, we used to have elemental uh, stuff that was like, you know, like the elemental system, them removing that was kind of necessary because it really just, everything went to unaspected. Uh, you had it, like a uh, stat, like just obviously base stats that kind of got replaced. And really it's kind of depending on whether you're a caster or a, or a melee DPS, it really kind of, the difference seems to be between skill speed and spell speed where you want crit, you want direct hit. And then depending on, uh, you know, maybe one or two other things, like it could be like determination, et cetera. So like the options that are really kind of valued outside of crafting and gathering, which crafting and gatherings market has remained obviously fairly high that those items, they, they tend to go for a lot more uh, for gathering and, uh, you know, uh, and perception and things like that. But um, out, outside of that, like it has become just like, okay. And the last change that they made with it was where you, uh, your gear now doesn't break down. You just extract a piece of, uh, you know, out of it uh, time and time and time again, which is an interesting way of farming. It's an interesting way of having that experience fill up in a way that was going towards the system. And now it just is a way of generating on top of the fact that they just throw it on top of you, on top of you, on top of you. Um, I guess for me, like when I look at it from a stats perspective, like this is what I'm about to say is I don't think would ever happen unless they did some massive overhaul to the, to the game or something like that. But uh, I would like to see that um, them materia actually play into uh, traits. I'd like to see it. Like, I don't think about adding skills to my bar <laughs> right now in 14. Like, don't give me another skill. Like that would be, that would be a nightmare for me right now. Um, but You're about to get more. Well, yeah. We, we covered that in a video. I think they're not asking like, you, <laughs> um, but I would like to see it. Like, I wish there, there was traits. I wish that there was some level of value. I wish that like, you know, when we talk about like, uh, uh, Paragon levels or something like that. Materia could be that system in which that you have, okay, you're going to go get this piece of materia and you're going to keep like, you're going to level that up. And then as that levels up, it's going to open up different options for you. Yeah. Why stop at five? Why, why stop, stop at, at Penta? Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not say, you know what? After Penta, you can move to six, you can move to seven. And the reason is because of balance, but like, what if, what if the ones after five, didn't go to how you are in dungeons it's like you know in dungeons you can over only only in dungeons and raids only your primary meld and your over meld counts you only get three materia per item mm -hmm. uh and that's it and that's it everything after that your quad your your you know your your penta sex sext oct you can go as deep as you want to go and the percentage just goes down but you keep those for the entire length of the expansion and um and or until you meld over them with the next materia next expansion the next highest materia mm -hmm. and now in fates you've got you've got a whole nother tier and it's like dude i've, I've octuple melded across all of my my job stone slots and yeah. you should see what i do in fates that would that, i think it would go over much better like obviously with the i kind of the concept of having your your glamour versus like your actual like stats because one of the things that I personally find frustrating and for the longest time because I wasn't really doing or trying to push my damage because it was like we we're doing normal yeah. clears just fine I was parsing over 50 you know whatever just fine but until I was like okay how can I parse into the 90s how can I parse uh, trying to get that push that higher and higher then materia became an ever more present importance and so I think one of the reasons why this uh, this topic itself was so highly voted like when we look at 
the topics we put out for the week. Like this is one of the highest voted ones along with our 14 and Guild Wars 2 video. And I think it's a lot because it ends up being a system that is really primarily just driven for the upper echelon of players within 14 who really want to maximize it. I could be wrong here. I'm just saying that because of the fact that like you don't need it, you don't need it. It has like, there's never a time where you're like, well, we would have gotten that clear on, uh, you know, on in Boja if, uh, if this guy had at least one more, you know, slot. It's like, the, no, no, no. But on the savage side of that, you know, then it's like, why aren't you bringing that? Like that ends up adding in so much damage. And that's usually what it's all kind of related to. Everything kind of relates back to how much output of damage are you putting um, because that's just the way the system is, is designed. And using so, a fragment should increase your, um, using a, a, a fragment should increase your drop rate of boss and coins. There needs to be something to reward people that are moving those clears along and deliver them because without a partial, you can't tell the difference and it's massive, but that's a separate side note. <laughs> Effectively for a casual player, what we have is we have a system where you try to make the eye level the highest, but once you have a 510 for the average player outside of Glamour, you're not going to pursue different 510s. We don't really have that level of stat priority. Mm -hmm. um, I came from WoW rating, where within a tier of rating, you had six or seven different trinkets that could be equipped, and people mathed it out, and they said, okay, for your class and your spec within your raid comp, this is your best in slot. This is your second in slot. This is your third in slot. And so you were using DKP or loop council or whatever to based on what dropped from a boss say, oh my gosh, currently I have my fifth and sixth. That's my second. Can I please have that? Because that's going to make a huge difference to me DPS wise. And people would math that out. They said, you know, um, actually that one, it is one better than me, but I'm only allowed to get one new raid piece a week. We've got three more bosses that have something I want. That one's only going to be a two and a half percent increase in my DPS. The other two things are going to be seven percent increases in my DPS because they're tier pieces and I need them. I I'm going to pass on this trinket and let somebody else in the raid have it who gets a bigger input so that I can roll on something later. And there was all this mentality and this, this whole social dynamic around gearing. And so when people come over from WoW, that's what they're asking. Am I going to have to chase a unique combination of items that are best in slot for uniquely my class? And I'm going to be swapping them out within the same eye level. And over the course of a tier, I'm going to shift my gear around a couple of times. Is there a reforging system where when I get one new piece, I have to go out and de-slot all the material in my other pieces because now I have a different set of stat priority? No. Once you get the current best in slot piece in a slot, you're done. And then you slot that out with materia and you're done. There's a handful of little adjustments for things like skill speed um, because like my paladin's a little too quick. Um, and so it messes up my rotation because I'm about five hundredths of a second too quick on my global, which over the course of a seven to 10 minute fight adds up just enough that it's screwing with me. Um, but it's, it, that's a level that that statement that I made probably just made a bunch of casuals go, what? We mean five hundredths of a second, and then that's that's the theory, is that you want your you want to be in this range. You know, let's say you want to be at two point four seconds. Well, if you're at two point three five, you're gonna get ahead, and cooldowns on things are gonna start falling. They're gonna start mixing in, in a weird way. But if you're at two point four five, then all of a sudden when you're in a when you're in an inner release type window where you've got you know 10, 12, 15, 25 seconds, depending on your class, to make a sprint, you're gonna get less casts within that window. So you want to be fast enough that you can cram your bursts, but you want to be slow enough that you're not screwing up your rotation. Um, and that's a that's a weird that's a weird in between. And the reason you'd slow down is not because you just slow down in general. You're not removing the slot and nothing. You're replacing that skill speed with crit or something that ultimately makes it math out to more damage. Mm -hmm. I would rather do two less casts in a boss fight, but increase my crits by point whatever percent. So I we think, don't really do that. No. The um, I think for me, like a simple change that I would like to see, like, because it's like at the end of the day, sitting here and saying, I wish that you, all of these things, like that's just... I don't want to wish that work on the team because I just don't see it happening. I don't want to sit here and be frustrated later. But I wish that when slotting, um, when slotting, I wish it increased the overall item level of the gear itself because how we value oh, yeah. item level and not by like, oh, you put one, one that's slot in, that's 0. 0.5. No, it's like, no, no, like just give it like one. Like, okay, so that gear is 510 and then you slot in a piece of material. Like, okay, now it's 511. 
boom, 512. Like you just keep going. And so it's like ultimately, now I, I don't know if that's how the math on the gear level works, but I think that essentially would then encourage that that mid-step value of, oh, you got a 520 piece of gear and, and maybe it isn't one per, or maybe it's like half or something like that. I don't know what the math would be on it, but if you think about it, then you could have a full crafted set of 520s five uh, pentamelds and is that equivalent to a 530 or is that more like a 525 or something of that nature to where there is a r visual representation of us that score that that we value right oh you're in peace right piece yeah exactly something like that so it's like all of a sudden there's an incentive to go a little above and beyond that and even with like you let's say you were at a uh, you know, a slot on your 530, putting into uh, items in that slot would, would would make that like 532, 531. You know, so it's like even still with the uh, with the highest the whole gear. system's arbitrary, by the way. For anybody <laughs> that that goes, I wish we were at i700, then call it 700. It's just a number mm -hmm. that is meant to put us on a relative scale, and that number is meant to represent a certain amount of total stats. It doesn't matter. We could put a one before all of it, and it doesn't make us any stronger. Right. It's just, just for anybody that's listening to this and they're like, man, I wish I was, I wish we were at like, I wish there was 20 levels between each, each tier instead of 10. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> then we just, then the scale just gets bigger. It, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, it's totally arbitrary. Uh, we could reset every expansion and start at one and go one, two, three, four, five. That, that would be fine. It's just something to tell us which piece is better. And so what you're asking for is really logical because mm -hmm. crafters ask what best in slot is. Hand Saint is the best in slot for casual players just getting in. It's easy to get. It's I-500. It's very clearly labeled. It, it works right out of the box. But if you want to go better, if you want to start getting into experts getting into your three star your four star start really dialing it up you actually back that eye level off to 490 to do that that moves you into crafted gear which gives you the ability to pen to meld so when you first do it you actually take a net loss in stats so it's only worth it if you're then going to put enough materia into it to not just put the two slots in mm -hmm. you're then going to over meld it to three slots and then push into that four slot and five materia which is incredibly expensive because that fifth materia and that fourth materia are both only sevens. And so you have to have both to make them really add up because they're smaller materia. And if you've done it, like you're maxing out what the gear can even hold stat wise. So your, your stat priority kind of falls off because it's like, I, I got a little of everything mm -hmm. and you're, and you're at a 5% rate. So you're, you're dumping materia into this. And so like, if anything I'm saying here doesn't make sense to you, you should try penta melding once it's easier than ever before mm -hmm. to meld. It's easier than ever before to get a hold of materia. It's easier than ever before to, if you change your mind, pull materia out. Um, materia has gotten to the point where it's so easy to acquire. It's so hard to, for the game to actually remove it, that um, it kind of just piles up. And so a lot of materia actually regularly trade below vendor price, which is a different conversation. Um, and so it's, it's really easy to acquire a nice, big, healthy stack. If you want to try penta melding a single piece. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I, those are our thoughts. What would you like to see, especially as it relates to the material system? Uh, would you like a complete overhaul? Would you like some slight adjustments? Personally speaking, I think the, I, I've advocated for the, the plus one level or whatever sure. since they introduced the uh, item level. I was like, hey, just give me a reason. Cause that's a score. It's a score that people look at and, and can look at and say, hey, that's what I meant. But those are just my thoughts. Chris, you got any final thoughts before we wrap? Uh, no, no. Forgot to use a phrase. We're, we're early in the morning. I'm getting ready for stream. <laughs> He's warming up. He's warming up. All right, guys, for Work to Game, my name is Brian. My name is Chris. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you have a fantastic day, and we hope to see you next time. But until then, take care.